churches that are receiving this transmission, we greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Those who can, we invite to kneel down. We're going to start our service by pleading for the power in the blood of Jesus. Dear Lord, we plead for the power in the blood of Jesus. We ask you a blessing of forgiveness of our sins, a blessing of fellowship with you and with your Holy Spirit, so we may access in fellowship with you, so that our, our praise may reach your throne of grace and you might may pour upon us our blessings because we're poor and needy of your power tonight bless greatly in the lives that are here present in this church in hallandale and also in the churches and the sisters brethren who are connect with us operate through this power in the name of jesus amen we can be seated you are the only God worthy of all honor and glory. So we died so we would have life. Your church is beyond the veil. The beauty of your sanctity. Is it okay here? We worship you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. 
Who is this that shows as the morning, the dawn of day? children will sing, I want to be faithful.
I would like to greet our brother with the peace of the Lord. We are connected with churches here in America and also leave this and go to other parts. Next, next time I came to Brazil, everybody had already watched the message from Brazil. Everybody had written it down. I can tell anything, but we're coming from Portugal. There we, we inaugurated a place, new place, and we had almost 1,500 people, great meeting. We had the Saturday and Sunday, a blessed meeting. Our brother there, a great part of the brother from Brazil. And I was very happy to know it was a conversation we also had here, a conversation here and there. Everybody asked, how are you? I understood that they're good there, they're well, they went there. They have their jobs, their, their resources to leave. That's very good. Church here is a church more marked by this question. The brethren here are more used to, to the life. The Lord has blessed many. Or if not all that have been here and made them to prosper in your material life within the possibility and also the spiritual life. We thank the Lord, this place and others 
and tomorrow be consecrating and inaugurating a temple, a place to serve the Lord in Orlando. That's a property, very good property. And we have a project to have in these places, specifically we sp also spoke today with the direct direction here of the church, with the mission here, to implement immediately the use of the property that was purchased in Coral Springs, exactly, in Florida, down. But the truth is that there is prosperity. The news from the north are very good, and from other regions. Our people is a people that works, that obeys the law, and who are faithful to the Lord. It's interesting that in Portugal we observed the possibility that maybe a 30 or 40 churches immediately people's, the people are workers they're happy there and we are seeing there's a spiritual possibility there and that's important for us from the point of view from a geographic point of view and a strategic point of view both the US as Portugal are two great bridges uh, two places in which we have interest to have more and more disunity starting from this point I want to tell something to the brother many people are thinking that the gospel of the last hour is the gospel of the masses it is not the gospel of the last hour is for small people think about the li when Israel left Egypt only men only when only men could hand hand the weapons there were 600,000 they walked through the desert and it was prophetic Jesus, Israel would enter the land how many entered the land from those who left how many too think about it if we the church who's here there is a promise the church will be raptured I always tell too my me and my wife my wife is went to the Lord already but I have the daughter the grandsons the the son-in-law I'm not so sure but the truth brother is that the moment we are living is the moment it's a serious moment of the life of the church 2000 years there's nothing else to wait think about it all the prophecy is fulfilled you can tell me one that hasn't been fulfilled yet observe we spoke last Sunday about trumpets did you get it trumpets what we're talking about trumpets it what those are the signs and judgments so we're gonna say we spoke we saw two sounds of trumpet one about Jesus trumpet and the and the and the strong bleed strong sound of a trumpet the pastor probably talked about it talked about it already not let's not talk that this is a sound it's just one and there's no second uh, second chance other calls other we got the case from the the twin towers here we show that not only that the prophet Sophonia, but also Joel you will see the same prophecy the first prophet or the second prophet or Joel spoke about but Sophonia have more details talks about the towers high towers 
the strong cities, all of that. So there is a people that is as broad as the earth. We know who they are. They're well identified. There is a world that is completely unaware. And the worst of all that we are seeing is that what we expected from the gospel is not taking place. Christianity, let's not talk about it. Christianity is just a, you know, a name. They don't need the Holy Spirit, Only they only need the name. Jesus is also part of the Christianity. I'm going to say that Jesus thanks God, God is good Father. This is conversation from people. There is that, that there is there, called Christianity. Why did he left? Because there is no doctrine. The doctrine of the church of the early days, the base of the doctrine in the early days passed. The time passed and all that wasn't supposed to enter the left church entered. And what was from the spirits left and the re uh, reason of man entered. And in the reason of man, the greatest region and the greatest religion that can be created is with philosophy. There is nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't take you to eternity. Philosophy is a science. We're going to reach God explaining who is God. Think about us. Is say a God. How can you define a God who is eternal? And we here finding for the brother here to believe in God and a God that I'm going to explain how He is being myself. Um, I'm a being that is temporal. Um, from a few days, I'll be going just like everyone. A lot of people will be satisfied with that, and some people will even go before I will. We're going. There's nothing. We're gonna gonna be left is what the Lord done. The Lord did a man and prepared all things and only he knows the destination he will give to men. Amen. Saying what's gonna happen here, there with his mind has no value. No. But the God who created he knows the destination of the soul. He prepared all things. The same who created man, created this life, created eternity as well. We know that this life will pass, it's been shown clearly. But I want to tell the brethren that we're living this moment, this prophetic moment in which it has marked our lives. The trials, the faith. And I want to tell you s one thing to the brother this faith that everybody talks around, this is lie, it doesn't exist. The faith without trials does not exist. And here we might even say that there is, there is a faith that is tried, those who came from far away to make the life here trying to looking for some something that they need the suffering the early dawns and the nights and the fasts just to leave home after a day of work and come to the house of the lord it is a great trial but in some ways this is not complete faith, this is the faith, it's just a part of the faith. So our life, what we do to the Lord, is a part of our faith. But I will tell something to the brother. In Brazil, we have grown. The prosperity has been great. In the arena, in the state of Espírito Santo, they also do, they do a survey from time to time received their survey these days. Out of the evangelic groups, the, the Assembly of God is always the largest one. Three years ago, they had 33% of the evangelical population of the state of Espírito Santo. Now it was done a survey. It reduced from 33 to 23. He lost 20%, 10 points. Maranatha had 12, went to 18. This is the only church that has, that's growing and see the brother there's no need of you know none of this or people's understanding 
the moment in which we are living we have to criticize no none this is not our concern we know where we came from we know where we are and where we're going this is important and now that's what I was saying to understand that the gospel will dominate the world this is wrong the question that we're living is the question that always existed in everything that was created which is what is the the retrocession the word was created is going backwards destruction is clear is natural and it's part is called it's called entropy the word entropy means that everything will become old and will disappear and the most important figure of all the creation is is man even though we have to recognize the beauty of man what he represents from this creator what extraordinary thing is man we have given space in our seminar for a group that we are controlling of science and faith they're showing what is science and what is faith the gospel who is there hasn't hasn't made a stand face these challenges we have some youth that leave their schools and they they are godless since that because they understand things within reason and philosophy it's natural this is from the man and the great movements that I say the baptism with the Holy Spirit the spiritual gifts they were not able to put a stop on that and the Lord is giving to the work you know what they don't have revelation because without revelation there is no s stopping the reason you cannot without revelation put stop reason because who has risen and uh, dominates the world cannot who has has you cannot nobody with his own reason can show the other side which is the side of revelation if there is no Holy Spirit if you let philosophy theology that's over you don't even have to worry about your life is offered you show that your faith is based in reason there in Brazil there's a religious group large one uh, the leader says all faith is in reason that's why he says and we say all faith in reason is all reason without faith reason of man is always good it's within the measures of all the create the work of creation is extremely rational but then talk about that everything was created was will disappear there's nothing that will that was created and will not disappear it is being demonstrated scientifically now we don't have to go far to the measure of the man himself i would like to leave a message here to the to the brother that is needed you're a small group we don't consider ourselves today the world has looked for us we're here we even spoke to the brother here we had a meeting with the present all of that but it was important the contact of people who knew us the world knows us if they want or if they want don't want if they understand or if they don't understand that's their problem but our position is marked in history of church the small people see that let's go over this again look at this and the gospel of the king will be preached and the testimony of all people and then the end will come I'm gonna ask you 
the gospel of the kingdom has been preached in testimony of all people, yes or no? If I said no, I would be going against the signs because now you have the social media, Facebook, everything to say everything you want. Never the gospel has been preached as much as it is being preached today. Jesus was saved, Jesus is good. They just don't want. They want to hear preaching. That's what everybody wants to hear preaching. Jesus is safe. Jesus is the path. I just don't want to walk in it. That's the great problem. And there's a small group here. The world will won't even recognize who are those disciples of Jesus, the Roman world. What value had these poor fishers to the home world dominated the entire world at that time for the world of us here? Nothing. But see that the testimony is that. You want to see the birth of Protestantism was Europe, Germany. Everybody knows the Reformation, 16th century with with Calvin in France, in Swiss, a bunch of them. That was the reform. The year of 2017, just in Germany, 400,000 evangelicals abandoned the gospel. I don't think that they even had that people, I don't think they had all that many. Uh, 2018, 600,000. You can look at that. 600,000 left. Where did they come from? They also left. You want to know? The greatest theologists and philosophers, Germany, Germans. The religious reform in Germany, Lutheranism, the church who emphasized Lutheran's doctrine commemorated 500 years in Brazil, saying the following, saying Luther was wrong, just that. What he did to fix and put a name, and they don't believe anymore, which is the doctrine of the reformed church. That's the situation of the world. I'm just talking about Europe. That's Europe. Calv Calvin, Luther, France. Where is the gospel in Europe? There is no... Russia. That area in Russia. That people had an experience with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Who talk with the Russian pastors. The oldest ones that is always with us, they talk about the experience they had with the grandfathers, grandmothers, extraordinary experiences in the presence of the Lord, great operations, they had their experiences, that's it. All the continents, America is here, this misery, this Christianity, pay attention. There's nothing else which is spiritual and the worse. No, doesn't have any more ethical or moral conditions. There's no more or ethics in this called Christianity. Is a people? There's a people who is faithful. Yes, faithful to Christians' traditions, to the parties. Faithful. Three, four three or four or five marriages. This people, it's not the measurement for our people. We may have few, some Americans here. The church, it's not from Brazilians or Americans. It's a church from the people that is faithful to the Lord, those who are testi testifying and living. China, China, China had the president before Mao Zedong, communist, called Chiang Kai-shek and his wife. They were evangelicals. What was left? Nothing. 
China, India. It was a English protered, uh, uh, English colony. What's left? Nothing. Gandhi. He who killed, he said the fall. I love Jesus. And I hate the, the Christians. I love Jesus. And I hate the Christians. That's what testimony they gave. The prince there, and the pr as the president of the church, married and unmarried, married, divorced. This thing from people. And I ask you, is this gospel? Is the gospel of the king that Jesus preached? That he walked through the beaches of Galilee, for the mountains, talking about the blessings. His sacrifice is that? Is it the gospel who's around? I say I like it. Gospel is the is the gospel. The gospel that existed, the, the, the American blacks who came here crying, uh, locked as animals brought in a different situation. To completely traditional, diff traditional, they abandoned wife and sons, brother. Those built, built praise songs that are some of them extraordinaries of feelings, of suffering, of pain when they served alone. It wasn't of the, the white ones who evangelized. The gospel here in, the, in America was from the black. And now, today they are in the pubs. And I read a text that I'm going to la leave here for the brother and read the, in the prophet Isaiah. Put it here for the brother who wants to. Don't put it now, <laughs> otherwise they will read. Let the, they're going to stop hearing me and they're going to read. Then I'm going to see brother, the situation. You know who is the boss? The leader in of the music in eternity was thrown down. He had an instrument. And you know who? You know where he is, in the middle of the worms. And those who are producing the praise song, everybody who sings, which, which is to the Lord and is not. And the songs of the drunk, from people who are drunk. That's what's been singing. Let's stop here. Can I say something? Can I preach now? I didn't want to stop. I, can't, I have to say to our brother that we're in, in a moment of definition. We're getting. It's 2,000 years. There's nothing else to wait. We're going to wait to what? Good things be brought in here in America and all this. So many benefits. <laughs> a bomb or something from time to time. That's normal. I'm gonna live just from happiness. I'm gonna have some difficulties, but either way, anyways, extraordinary culture and, and noteworthy development. Everybody knows that it's a new civilization, evidently. That's what I want to tell the brother. Either we do a diagnosis of what we are living around us very clear and we will treat the disease should it exist or we will die here in this paradise and that's not what the Lord wants for our lives everybody may grow and prosper create raise their families but without losing the notion of the moment we are living without the distractions that are around you know something that we are noticing o brazil also had as everybody have the day of the white man of the indian the day of the black man the day of the mother-in-law the day of the commerce there's the day of the children everybody celebrate and it's always on Sunday, but the day of the Lord is been forgotten. The Lord, the Lord doesn't say, "A oh, day of the Lord." What is the day of the Lord? Which day you're separating to read the Bible and to pray? You work all week. What's the problem? When the Lord called me for the ministry, 
I always said the following, Lord, I'm not going to be up to the challenge. There is no problem. Just do what I'm saying, the Lord was saying. Otherwise, and it, it, more and more service, there was work, work, no. The life is available to you, but what I want you, from you, I'm, I don't negotiate that. Think about me, what the Lord has asked, and we cannot be forgotten. If he wants something from me, that I'm so bad, from people who are here, that he must probably want something else. The fact that we have to have a diagnosis, when you go to the doctor, it's very common, who work with mouth, almost my case, the first thing. Sometimes you have a mark or a problem, a kind of disease in the mouth, and you, and you look at that and say, listen, let's treat this thing here, you cannot leave it untreated. This is just a small thing. But put this, put that, whatever. The bad, and when you do the wrong diagnosis, and you look, think that this is just a small thing, but it's actually a cancer, and three months he's back, and it's cancer. It's preferable that you treat cancer, cancer as it was a small thing, instead of cancer treating a small thing as it were cancer, instead of you thinking that the the can cancer is a small thing. The time cannot be discussed. This is called diagnosis. When you have the diagnosis, have the treatment. Israel left Egypt. And I'm going to read a verse, just one verse here in the Psalm 105. The brother may read with me. Let's put it here. I só crê que está na Bíblia. Vamos fazer comigo? E tirou os para fora com prata e ouro entre as suas tribos. Não houve um só fraco. A outra tradução não houve um só doente. A tradução diz que não houve ninguém doente. Brother, na igreja, nós vamos sair. There, we might not have any sick people around us. The spiritual sick people will be left. The work will take redemption, the power, all that belongs to the Holy Spirit will be taken away. And no people sick. And that's why our concern today with our people is that these people be prepared. You, you were watching the Bible schools. What's taking place in the Bible schools? We're learning. We're learning about the reconstruction, be it at home, maybe a problem at home in the family, maybe at church, because the walls of Jerusalem, of the gospel, they're destroyed. There are no more doors. Nobody knows what is world and what is church. What is outside comes into the church, and people don't understand. Jesus died in the cross of the Calvary. The cross came. One day came away from. We're gonna sing. We're gonna sing this beautiful song, and pe people think this is beautiful, normal. Listen. It's a small group that is going up, church, who's going to leave. It's the one that testifies. He sees, as Paul says, he leaves as he was not leaving. Our life is this. The Lord has... The Lord is giving us blessings. The Lord has given prosperity to a few. But if, if you, you just don't give more and more, because otherwise people will leave. My father 
You had a few friends. They were always there at home. And there was a city, a man from church. Sometime he would appear. What happens to this man? Some, at some point he is rich, at some point he is poor. Sometimes he's a church and he's a believer. He's a f believer, but he's not faithful in his case. And he had a large family, a family who is... I paid attention in the situation. And he would say the following, he, the Lord, still blesses his family because he starts passing through difficult situations. He comes to the feet of the Lord. The day they put m money into his hands, he will leave. He and the entire, line, entire family. I remember in the beginning of the church, there was a youth that, that lost a part of his salary from the government because something they made some kind of change they left from the from the class 15 went to class 3 he was in a difficult situation he was son of a, a widow his name is Joseph he said everybody was concerned with Zah he went to the early dawn at night and they decided to make a fast for S S Mr. Joseph, kind of a longer fast. For him, I made a very long fasting. But then, a few days passed, Zezinho, I couldn't see him. What happened? What happened? Oh, Pastor. Did you know about Cezinho? Listen, he received everything from backwards. He was promoted. A few days again, he was drinking beer at the bar. And the Lord says, listen, see what did you, did you do? What? Let's do some more fast to, to make him come back. It says, Mr. Joseph went back with his beer. Brother, when man doesn't realize the project of the Lord into his life, he's a miserable. I lost my wife. Doctor is going to do six months. The doctor he was desperate. He called me. I had no tears. He came to talk to me, sit next to me. You want to explain it all? You, you don't have to explain anything. You owe me nothing. You did always right. It was like that. Looking, it was him and the nurse and not in the in the head of of the hospital because I lost a loss like that was something. I said, listen. Life has three pillars. There's many, but three pillars. It's work. One day will go away. I have a small company, but I'm retired. Worked, I don't know how many years. I still teach in the university. It's the professional life. This is over. The friendships, the relationships, they also go. You see, I saw that she was there. I'm going to tell you something to you. One thing will never disappear, which is faith. He didn't know that I was a pastor. I'm a pastor. I preach about faith. And I want to tell you something. Life is prophetic. You may explain that the nurse failed. I don't want to say that, I don't want to judge that. It wasn't the project of the Lord. Went away. Are you, are you this way? I'm not going to cry. I'm going to have my place, my time to cry that I have every day. But what the people have with that? What the church have with that? I cannot arrive here. Yeah. 
and transferred to the brother. I'm a pastor. My suffering with the difficulties that brother are suffering, the son who is outside, the other who is sick, the brother, the past. Everybody here has problems. Ministry, ministry, to take money away and bring problems to people. This does not exist, brother. There is a world that is sick. And I'll show the brother now finishing. Where is the sickness of the gospel that is around? Please project here. A situação, não vou falar do mundo, fala do evangelho. E querem ver just of the gospel. A brother will see the twirly. Hoje é a mesma coisa de quando of when the world started and people and mother the history of man is the is the is the his, the, the the day of today is a day of fear people do not have safety in marriage relationship and love and work tomorrow how is it going to be sickness some people who are sick started to go sick thinking that that's much worse than he has the world of, si of fear superstition mysticism philosophy entered this place to remove fear from people enter to the side of mysticism the philosophers who came afterwards mysticism was a god for HP the god for this god for that they used nature the powers of nature to choose a god they had no safety even the animals or the lion all the photographs that you have in the past all that you have a tradition in the past, you can see photography, the line, the sun, and since there was nothing else, there was the hero of the labyrinth, a man with a head of an animal, of a horse, of a donkey, whatever it may be dangerous, the fears, philosophy did not solve it, it went to the direction, the knowledge of the world, it was called cosmologic philosophy, it was called where is man or how is man before this world that's around. We have Pythagoras with math. Everything would, should be in the measurements. And with the right measurements that he had, science he could define the world, a man. Then you have, there was the cosmology. Then has the anthropology. Men started to be the center of all things. Fear, superstition, lack of security, the anguish of the soul. There is, think about it, the greatest philosophers, the greatest men of anguish in their souls. What are the greatest philosophers today that the word talks about? We're going to talk Nietzsche, this and that. They are also theologists or theorics. Nietzsche died crazy. Ten years in a, in a mental institution, considered a very famous philosopher. You know what his niece wanted? And he wanted to die hanging a donkey. Think, think if it happened in Brazil, there would be no donkeys left. Kierkegaard, he was a theologist, 
died with 30 year, 38 years. You know what his philosophy? Anguish. Want this razor hair. Men who lived in the well of affliction, teaching these people. A bunch of philosophers. A few days at uh, a pastor. Search for me, and said. Look, I, I lost my niece. Because I didn't know this class that they teach, not this one, about science and faith. And I couldn't explain her, she was a girl. Went to church with a guitar, guitar played, went to the, to the uh, college of philosophy, college, and she left, graduated, left to Europe. Got a, vis a, a vice, came back and suicided, brother. That's it, brother. This week, family left church from some time. Put up a boy, a boy in the world, and the and the boy, ten years old, lost his life, took away his life. There's a world that there is no hope. And I told the doctor the following: We are not like those who have no hope. When Paul said, I fought the good faith and I kept the faith. The faith is the keeper of everything, the keeper of your work, of your relationships. I told him that my, f my relationship, my great love is there. And it has end. Life. Can only be believed by those who have in Jesus the life that He gives. If it's just conversation and religions, give up. Don't lose your time. Don't lose your time. Go to the world. And to what Elvis Presley did, extraordinary singer, died in a coffin. Young, extraordinary voice. He sang in the choir. I haven't heard a voice like him. He sang in the church choir. And that's it. What says the word? Lost stars. Okay, for them, it's destiny, the darkness. The lost star. It's lost. The world lives of illusions. And we are saying to our brother, all of you, the simpler you may be, have value. Your precious lives. What I'm worth is what you are worth. Each, which, which is which one of us are worth. The, what the world has cannot be changed for the values that you have. I came from a Brazil there that imitates everything. It's a misery there. Take your son out of that. Don't let him go to the school and say, this is not from the Lord. Be faithful. Say the truth. Take your son away from that. They will grow. The work has a direction marked in eternity. We are concerned both with the child, the adolescent, and also the youth. In the, in the life, many went. Example. Our great concern now is precisely to tell them that there is a flowing teaching. Flowing. There's nothing. Go, come, fell down. Listen, that's not that. Jesus did not die. Each brother, each pastor, each sister dedicated, each instrumentalist, each trip here to the house of the Lord is for the glory of the Lord. We don't want anything from the world. The Lord, the Word has given us 
or to do something else. Warn those around you. Send message. You're messing with WhatsApp for all kind of crazy thing. Talk about Jesus. Send a text to a friend. I am at the door and knock, and then explain. Brother, I'll finish saying the following. You know what's taking place? Fear, superstition, mysticism, and see if it's in the movements around. There's a p people going after that. The, the, the stone of the Jordan River. Same thing. There's no safety. People are being fooled. The gospel, the gospel has nothing spiritual to give. The Holy Spirit left from inside the gospel. And there's no even moral or ethics. Christianity has no more ethic and no moral. You can take the newspapers every day showing where is the moral of what's called Christianity. If you take a Muslim, they have no comment at all. See how they how to dress. That's their problem. Doesn't mean that sanctity, but see that they have no rules. Europe. There's nothing else to say. Christianity from Europe. Do they have anything to say to the Muslims who are there? Christianity who are here have something to tell to the Muslims who are here? Yes or no? Don't answer. Don't have to answer. And I ask, what kind of gospel is that? The signs are all there, Mark, to the church. And when I say something, let's leave. The land will be left in chaos. Who is sick? Spiritually? Search for the healing for your sick. Everybody goes, brother, sister, servant. Servant, this is a lie. None of that. Don't be loaded with praise from people. Nothing. Look, the trial is hard. There is no faith without trial. Let's stand up. Put the text there. After. It's the only time they come here. <laughs> See tomorrow if they go to New York.
I was in Jerusalem time from time ago we went there we had a meeting with a group of of pastors we have about seven to nine churches there in his room and we went there to tell them that that they should leave things ready there the prophets because what the Israel is needing is that the prophetic is placed there the church will be left and then they will say there was a prophet there you're not gonna you're not gonna have any fight with anybody with the Israelites even though even because you are here the church will leave Jerusalem will be will be under siege who's going to be there these are them so place yourselves in the right position talk of Jesus to the life that comes they shall come but no don't stop their work let them do what they do we were getting there and we were in the street before and the and the bombs started to fall and those appeared there was time we were, we were there in our street we entered you were there with me yeah we entered for the meeting place and then started again bombs again the rockets naturally because their defense were good they had some kind of defense all those but we came and there was a group there a small group and a few other pastors they went to 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 had dinner it was very expensive so I ran away but uh, something to see before arriving in the city of Jerusalem I saw the city from a far away distance who go to Jerusalem will feel something the servant will feel the moment that we are living in Jerusalem there is something moving around there on the, on the, around the city of Jerusalem Jerusalem itself which is the preparation for the return of the Messiah great battles will take place there still a brother, the brother had an interesting vision there in the mountain he saw he saw an animal that was in, in the top of the mountain he was looking looking for her so there's a people that's completely forgotten there's Christianity that goes here they got their money animation do the things that do saying little things listen don't forget the church is living their last days and Jesus will come from some time to time but if you're called today if you're facing the Lord and if you say that you didn't knew about his game you were dead already the church has the obligation to say Jesus is at the door that's why we were called our name is the word Maranatha to say to the world Jesus come let's pray Lord bless your people your nation those who are at your feet now crying some afflicted feeling the battles of every day some even for the bread for the bread that is from this world for those brought, Lord give your blessing and add the bread of life we need you Lord our future is in your hands 
as tuas mãos, in your hands and offer our destiny and we ask you that we bless each one of us here tonight and this blessing be a night of restoration before you those things that are pending in our lives things that are being left to the next day now this is a great day of fixing the night may be a night of restoration a night of peace of resting of joy a city of us a, a week of blessing and prosperity to your people we worship you for your church in this place for the testimony those who you are healing because we know that nobody who is sick and all sickness will remove and this is why we have pled day and night for the blood that heals and baptize the blood of Jesus to do that this blood this spirit this glorious spirit this mighty God we give glory and allies in your name we say the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God of eternal Father and the power and the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit be with all of you beloved and all the people of God now and forever Amen the brother may be seated. We have a youth, ladies there, because they see me in the school, in the satellite. Identify, ladies, they are praying for you. They identified. They're my friends. They pray for me. Did you put the text? Did you forget? Let's read the text. Let's read it. Isaiah 14, 11. This is a prophecy against this is a prophecy against the evil. Your, your pride was thrown in the graveyard along with the sound of your instruments. Your your bed is of worms. Your cover of worms. This is why we sing. Don't go with those musics. We have our musics, especially. There was a time in which we didn't produce, and I said, Lord, why? Because they started to sing what I had from my work, what I dictated to my work. I want to be sing. And the people started to sing what I dictated to my work. Then I will give new praise songs. There's a new uh, a hymn, book, brother, a hug, peace of the Lord Jesus. Tomorrow we'll be in Orlando, if the Lord allows, and then Brazil. And Sunday, satellite. <laughs> Amen. Listen, there's some people that don't like the satellite. They don't. That's not the problem, the satellite. It's the message, the doctrine. Satellite, they have football, everything. Everything. Okay? You don't want to fix. They want preaching. This is the path. Jesus said. Everybody saying that. Why? And that's the difficulty piece of the Lord. So otherwise, I'll continue. I'm go. Nem precisa, rapaz, que é isso. 